this is Moody's sister Wit, and today I'm here to talk to you about making the switch to a natural deodorant. I have five must-have tips when you are going from a commercial deodorant to a natural deodorant. So when you first start using a natural deodorant, you're gonna find that you sweat a lot. Oh my, what is that? No, oh, don't panic. It's a natural thing. So right now your body's doing a little freaking out. It's It's been clogged up for a while, blocked by aluminum and chemicals that don't allow your body to sweat. And now it's free. After a couple days of your body detoxing, it will regulate itself and find a nice balance between sweating a little bit and cooling itself off and not being so stinky. Just don't give up! Reapply as often as needed. Start with a cream deodorant and then if you need more protection, add in a powder deodorant throughout the day. So there are a lot of natural deodorant options and we have the right solution for you. Some people have a sensitivity to baking soda, which is in a lot of natural deodorants. So if you're finding that you're getting a red, itchy, irritated rash in your armpits, try a baking soda free deodorant. Natural fibers such as cotton and bamboo help wick the moisture and odor away from your body and it doesn't trap it in the fabric itself. Synthetic fibers such as polyester will wick the moisture and odor away, but trap it in the material. And you'll find your clothing becomes mm, less than pleasant smelling. Wearing those natural fibers will help reduce the odor and sweat. Make sure you're applying your deodorant to clean pits. If you haven't taken a shower that day, make sure to wash your pits so that you are giving yourself the best chance and protection for the day. You can wash and reapply multiple times during the day during your detox period. Our mission is to find solutions for all your moody skin problems and we have everything you need right here. So go out and rock your moody pits. We'll see you soon.